Hello from day 21. This is so crazy that I'm doing an intro sitting in a bed. I am not in a bed on day 21. I just want to explain the start of this before it gets started. Um, I remember, so the plan today was to wake up super early and to hike to Klingman's Dome and watch the sunrise. Klingman's Dome was about three miles from our campsite on this morning. And it's the highest elevation on the entire Appalachian Trail. Um, so I took this fun video in the morning and I must not have pushed the record button until the end. So you'll see this like little clip of what it looked like in about one second and it was a total accident. So long story short, I hiked for three miles in the pitch darkness. We wanted to get up to Clingman Stone before first light. And first light was about 6.45. So we got there about 6.40 a.m. And turns out it was completely cloudy, freezing cold, windy, snow flurries, like crazy. I'll show you a photo of all of us just huddled with our sleeping bags. People had tarps over them, just like hoping the sun would come out. It never did, but we hit mile 200 there. So here's a couple clips and some footage from that day, uh, day 21, hope you enjoy. Dumb. <laughs> this is crazy. Everyone's excited. <laughs> All right. Well, we made it to Clingman's Dome. I'll show you like one photo, <laughs> um, but. It was so cold. Um, I have like ice in my water bottle. I don't even know if you can see kind of it floating in there. Oh yeah. It's cold. It's beautiful climbing down from Klingman's though. It's very like forest finally feeling, you know, pine trees, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna walk today. See where it takes us. I think it's gonna be pretty chilly most of the day, so. Might as well just walk instead of sit in a cold tent. Um, so we'll see how I feel and I'll check in with you later. Bye. Another quick thing. Ooh, the sun is trying to come out. That's exciting. Um, I slept with my water filter in that. I've shown you kind of how I take it out. Um, uh, it, it was cold last night, like low 40s, but with the wind chill, you never know. And you saw the ice in my water bottle. So I'm actually hiking with it in that bag in my pocket so that, um, cause even as you hike, you know, it's not just when you sleep, it's also when you hike. If it's chilly, like it is today in the Smokies, you should keep it on your body and keep it warm. Keep it from freezing. Cause if it freezes, it won't work anymore. Okay, that was a good excuse to take a break. Climbing back up, it feels like we went to Klingman's, you know, highest point on the AT. And then it feels like we're still, we go down, and then we keep going back up to 6,000. Then we go back down, keep going back up by 6,000. So elevation is pretty high today. Feeling a little lazy, tired from waking up so early, but invigorated because the sun seems to be coming out. So I hope that continues and we'll touch base later. We got a lot of rocky trail today. It slows me down for sure. Just kind of stepping, guessing which rocks are loose and which are gonna hold me. So it's a very fun game that I'm playing this Sunday afternoon. It's about, it's almost 11. And since we got up so early, we've been going almost nine miles, so I'll probably stop at about 12 miles and eat lunch and then see how I'm feeling. Okay, it turns out that rocky trail that I was just talking about is not the Appalachian Trail. 
Oh, I'm so, I walked down it for um, almost a mile. And then I saw a stream and I was like, oh, I thought we weren't gonna see water for a little bit longer. Looked at my phone, not even on the map. Well, 200 miles. Took me 200 miles to get lost, so not too bad. <sighs> so unfortunately that mile was all downhill. So I'm climbing up. Oh, I'm a little disappointed in myself, but it is what it is. Okay, bye. Here's our first fence that has been put in to, it sounds like, stop the wild hogs, like boars, um, from getting to this side. And speaking of wild boars, yesterday one of the people I was hiking around saw one with like a couple little babies and he was like come see I was like heck no <laughs> I don't know why but a wild boar does not seem like the friendliest thing to me so I stayed back but he did say he wanted to see them so I was happy for him <laughs> Oh, that trail magic was amazing. Honestly, after that little detour, which turns out it was about 1.6 miles total off trail, so like 0.8 down that hill, and then I had to hike 0.8 back, which was just great. And I was just feeling kind of down, and then I came to that gap at Newfound Gap and had that trail magic and just like turned things around. Um, just wanted to show you though, I think I'm going to send home or er, get a new pair of shoes um this one's looking okay just starting to get like holes here um i did actually have a whole piece like chunk rip off right here and my toe on this one is just getting a little thin so i'm gonna send a pair of shoes probably to my parents and then they'll come in a couple weeks um and bring them to me. So that's the plan. Uh, all right, we have a shelter and we've hiked about 12 miles, not including my detour. Um, and there's a shelter in one and a half miles and then a shelter in nine miles. And part of me wants to just push nine and do the 21 and like see how that feels. And I can do a small day tomorrow if I'm hurting or rather than a big just because it's it's finally nice out and i just want to take advantage of that so i'll let you know beautiful day here's the trail and here's my stuff hanging out on the side okay bye Hey guys, end of day 21. We made it to the shelter. It was really tough. Um, 21, oh my gosh, 21 miles on day 21. That's cute. So my first day ever doing more than 16, it was 21 plus a little blue blaze to go to Clingman's Dome plus my little detour accidental detour which turned out to be like 0.8 miles each way plus 0.4 miles that we're about to hike down to the shelter itself so you know just a rough day tomorrow I don't know I'm just gonna feel out my body and see how it goes um we're gonna start hiking down get to the shelter eat dinner go to bed okay bye